I don't get it. What's insane about it? Ray also called you out shameful. You know? First and foremost, I cleaned my microphone and I swapped it out with an orange mic uh, windsock. Went to bed last night, woke up early. You already know what it is. Uh, it was basketball time. And I played with Mike from the Crash Dummies podcast. He's in town right now. And I'm going to be honest, uh, he cooked me. He cooked me twice. I came back, but he was just so wet. He was so wet. He was just draining threes left and right. It was crazy. It was disgusting work, okay? Won the first two games. He won the first two games. But what matters most is I won the last game. And not only did I win the last game, but I also cooked him when I won, won the last game. 15-1. But yeah, he's great. Um, I love playing with him because he's like around my size. He is much more athletic than me too. Like, it's always great to play against someone who challenges you in ways that other people can't. Because like, he's so strong uh, and so fast and so explosive from his football background. That it's just like, it's hard to keep up. What was the last score? What was the, what was the last score for the last game? No hablas. No, no, no. I came to this country. Yeah, I was like, uh, he beat me twice. I beat you twice, bad, and then I felt bad. So yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm a visitor, yeah. I don't want to make him so look bad. Back, he you lost. Know? What, what was it, 15-1? No, but I, I coached you the first two games. So run the tape. 15-1. <laughs> Still LA on top. <laughs> I'm here again with the dub. Great doing business with you, man. Okay, two dubs, but who ended up? Who ended up with the W last game? <laughs> Remember Fit of the day, by the way, uh, you know. I'm going with the college professor look again. You already know. What is that Logan Roy ass fit? No shade. I'm trying to act my age. I'm trying to act my age. I'm trying to look my age. I'm 33 year old man. Okay. Uh, chill out. Tana Hussey is going to be tomorrow. And then after, uh, after Tana Hussey tomorrow, we have an even greater guest. Jenk is going to be on the broadcast on Thursday. Are you off on Thanksgiving? No, dude. Why would I be? Why would I be off on Thanksgiving chat? We have a long-standing, multiple-year uh, tradition at this point. It's not Thanksgiving; it's Janksgiving, where I invite Jank into my home or uh, into our grandparents' house or my grandparents' his parents' house, and we duke it out. You know, Shaky Gerga is supposed to be here uh, on Thursday. I also invited Mike to Thanksgiving as well, but yeah, my my mom doesn't know yet. I gotta let her know. Which Mike? Mike from Crash Dummies Podcast, the one I was balling with. What is Janksgiving uh, for the newbies? Janksgiving is basically, uh, Janksgiving is a, is a time-honored tradition in this, uh, on the Hasan Abbey broadcast where Jank Uyghur, also known as Shaky Gerga, my uncle, also known as my uncle, he does the time-honored tradition of appearing on the broadcast and, uh, and we duke it out. Nasha unintentionally gassed you up on his IG story yesterday where he posted the top 10 active Twitch streamers with you at number two. Wait, really? Sick. Just checked his IG. Nate Shot's IG. It was top five. What is this? Let's see. What what did, what did he post? After returning to streaming just 10 months ago, Nate Shot is now a top five most sub streamer on Twitch. Oh, this is what uh, they're talking about. Guys, it's the last day to vote for streamer awards. If uh, Like I said, if you vote for me for just chatting streamer, you get a tasteful nude. I'm probably not going to win this year. Let's be real. Uh, this year has been a tremendous number of uh, different controversies. Uh, and normally I get a lot of support from all these other active communities as well from other content creators, but I don't think I'm going to get that this year. So we're on our own in a very tough, uh, very, very heavily dominated, stacked uh, uh, field. You're up against Kai. Yeah, Kai is probably not going to show up to the streamer awards, win the full sweep, and, uh, and that's probably what's going to happen again. You barely promoted it. Yeah, I don't feel like I should promote it every day i mean big streamers don't do that uh, normally uh and if i lose then i lose you know it is what it is why is kai in so many categories because he dominates the field what are you talking about yeah chat is like why is kai uh on everything it's a fan uh award like fans vote for who they want to nominate you do understand that uh, considering that it's fan based, clearly it, you know, someone with 500,000 subscribers is probably going to have a massive impact. And it's not like, it's not like it's not deserved. You know what I mean? If Kai is not in every category, that is because people are, uh, you know, that is because people are most likely trying to ensure that there are some others that also get uh, worthy praise and recognition. Okay. It's not deserved. Come on, dude. Come on. What are you saying is not deserved? Like, that's crazy.
Like that that's dude, what are you what are we talking about? Like from a pure entertainment standpoint, y'all are insane. I mean, it's it's funny because like I assume on like in this community especially, in this community especially you're like, "Well, he doesn't talk about anything worthwhile." It's like, "Yeah, because no one gives a shit about that. He's an entertainer, okay?" The very fact that I can even reach the level of popularity that I have been able to reach uh, while still uh covering hardcore uh news and, and polarizing news subjects and offer political commentary is insane it's not normal okay a lot of people don't recognize it y'all are being ridiculous like nobody's asking you to sit through every single kai sanat subathon okay but just like just be normal kai sanat has had a generational run okay he didn't use obas he made sets for his subathons it's actually next level for streaming yeah also for people who are wondering like if they're shocked by this like there was that uh, that one like behind the scenes from uh, the the rapper Twitch streamer dude uh, DDG. He went to Kai's house for the subathon, and there's like a sneak peek into like the background. Yeah, DDG is his name, not 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 Diddy G, not not Destiny's community. <laughs> anyway, look at the background of this. They're just gonna mic him real quick. Oh. Like this is the level of production. You know what my shit looks like. You know what my shit looks like. This is my shit, chat. This is it. That's my production, okay? My production is marginal. It's limited. It's got... And even then, it's like uh, uh, crazy in comparison to, I don't know, the average, uh, you know, what you would expect from a Twitch stream. But like... And then look at this. You know what I mean? Look at his shit. Okay. Like, look at that. Look at the amount of cameras they have. And this is one, one part of the production uh, team. Like, there's two different... Uh, two different production uh, uh, rooms as well. Probably even more. There's a reason why he's like popping off, you know? Um, yeah, he had Lizzo and, and Megan Thee Stallion, SZA on his broadcast. Like, he's crazy. I think about what Jerma said at the first Streamer Awards when he said, keep making great content and pushing forward. Yeah. Did you see Lizzo and uh, Megan Thee Stallion on Kai's stream discussing his hygiene? Wait, Megan Thee Stallion? That's not Megan Thee Stallion chatter. That's SZA. I don't even think he had Megan Thee Stallion on, actually. I think he had, uh, I think he had Glorilla on at some point. Those are yours or his? Look, it's not that. It's just my toes are up. But that's his, those are his. They are his. So you don't want foot on foot? I don't mind foot on foot. He seems like a clean person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Well, he hasn't washed his in a long time. Who said that? <laughs> he said that? Is that true? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, he's been showering. You seen him showering here? He's been field? showering with the trunks on. That's what they said. They say he showers every day with the swim trunks. Oh, that's my first question. On on stream. You need lots of equipment so you can hire lots of people. If you hire me, I'll make you bracelets. Thanks. Yeah. That's what really uh, ups uh, the ante for Kai Sanat's production is that he has a bracelet guy. <laughs> on stream. It's been 23 days. No. But maybe he's, he's watching the bottom of this. His knee's been dry for 23 days. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, cause you yeah, we confirmed the bracelets. We're good. When are you inviting SZA on the broadcast? That's the funniest part about this is like, I have no motion, okay? People will sometimes have these ideas where they'll be like, dude, why don't you have this celebrity on the broadcast? And it's like, are you kidding me? You think I wouldn't love the opportunity to have SZA on the broadcast? Like, SZA is not coming on the broadcast, chatters, okay? She's not. That's not happening. Like, I got no motion whatsoever. Uh, I have some motion uh, with people who are organically interested or invested in political commentary. And even then they might be worried about coming on like a, a, a political stream because they don't want to get yelled at by their fan base. Because as everybody knows, Republicans buy Nikes as well. Okay. That is the reality. Also, you know, I don't even know if I want uh, half the celebrities to be here on this broadcast, given how some members of the community react is it like one of your ig video posts no she liked the ig video post of me uh, uh getting encountered by uh harry daniels stop talking about it your haters will use it as a wedge between you and kai yeah it doesn't matter uh i don't i i i don't think kai with me at all but it doesn't really change my dynamic i don't give a shit if he doesn't like me at all i'm always gonna be honest and mp caught you you trying too hard to win just chatting streamer of the year buddy let it go oh it's because i uh i did a progress update pick Post that pic on IG. What the f*** you doing, bro? Yeah, sure. I'll post this on, on IG too. F*** it. Why not? I think that these progress pics are also reflective of the progression of your mental health. Oh, yeah. 
Absolutely. It has dramatically improved my mental health, like in a very, very significant ways. Okay. Was your back pain fixed from improving back strength? Yes. I did a lot of uh, complimentary uh, workouts to ensure uh, that my back was no longer uh, in pain after working out and stuff like that. Anyway, Billy D calls out Hassan. What did he say? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of Hassan, did you see this mother? Did you see this photo he posted on Twitter? I was like, dude. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill, what if bro. I was in First of all, he posts photos too. You can't be calling me out, Phil. You're trying to fill people in. I see the thirst traps you pose before going live, okay? He's doing the Hasanavi oh, method. My man. <laughs> He's doing the Hasanavi method. Oh, that's funny. Bro, that photo was so insane. I don't get it. What's insane about it? What is insane about it? Ray also called you out shameful. You know, what the... What the... F what, what is it? Guys, I just opened up Twitter and I just see Hassan. Okay, it's, it's you guys' fault. That's not the prominent fixture of this, is this photo. That's not supposed to be the main emphasis. What the f- What the- Whoa! What the hell? That's, that, that's just simply a, a, a part of the photo. There's no other way to show my legs. What do you want me to do? This is why so many incels hate me, dude. The shit that you guys are saying in here. You got brought up on an OTV, po yeah, OTV cool, podcast I earlier. Yeah. I was talking about that today on stream. How like when I'm scrolling on my TikTok for you page, I get a lot of girls that are like thirsting over Hassan. I'm like, yeah. it's just crazy because he's just like in our circle. Yeah. And I get to see him. And like I talk to him and he's, he's always like, hey, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> and this is the guy that you guys, like, yeah. you guys are tripping over this man. Dude, the worst part about knowing Hassan is when I like, liked uh fear and like tiktok that because i went on their podcast and all of a sudden i got hassan armpit fan cams on my tiktok and i was like holy shit this i was like <laughs> no like, you hold down the relic like the button and you're like i do not like this or like not interested in yeah. this post i was like doing it to all of those and they wouldn't go okay that's hater behavior you should be liking those like that's that's crazy okay my friends are my worst haters honestly that's crazy to me because it's like why would you hate on that? Why would you? Why? It's just like you should like it and, and support it. Like, I don't understand. Go away. So you've got Jenna Ortega, Sydney Sweeney, Hassan Armpits. Yeah. Like, that's your it's, it's the <laughs> Dude, and then the other one was uh, I did a stuff with Vinny at the Ludwig Games. And all of a sudden, Vinny Hacker okay. shirtless TikToks were coming out. Oh, okay, like, hold up. Let's see. It, did she say she doesn't like the Vinny Hacker shirtless ones? Bro, like, mm -hmm. I... I've met these people in person. Yes. <laughs> it's so weird that this is like on my time. I need to get it off. So like, I'm like super fast scrolling. And every time I see like. Oh, so she didn't hit the do not like on Vinny Hacker ones. To be fair, I get it. I understand. Not gonna lie, I tried to follow your political content on TikTok and it instantly became a Hassan thirst trap for you page. Yeah, I try to, I try to repost a lot of like the um, Hassan of Eclipse Industrial Complex on TikTok that actually uh, posts my takes from this stream and there's like fantastic accounts on there the problem is they absolutely get like they get no motion in comparison to the thirst trap tiktoks like the thirst talk tiktoks get like hundreds of thousands of likes but the political take stuff unfortunately get a, a well, fraction uh, of that you still just looking at it part. so the core of the company is really solving those two things how do we build something what that's greater, which usually give people what they want by allowing them to discover but then at the same time solve the monetization aspect and so, uh, in podcast, um, you know, the whole industry has evolved quite. I a lot. feel like I need to stop uh, eating from, pizza. Uh, sort of download to streaming. I need to stop eating pizza, tools, bro. You're skinny as hell, bro. It, it, it's fine. You 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 earned the pizza. What the? F and obviously, in video, it's totally different <laughs> type of stacks, and we see that. We see that being a huge barrier. When this dude, um, um, when this dude hits me up, when I post, when I when I when I when I steal the Hassan Abi or the, the Hassan method. Of thirst trapping to to get people to <laughs> this this man will hit me up and dm he's like you killing it you killing it champ and this mother just comes out like this yeah hassan needs to be banned off of twitch not no! for anything he said 
No, Philip DeFranco is now on the Ben Hassan train. Oh, we're cooked. We've lost another pillar. <laughs> New hater unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> that photo. <laughs> oh, no. We've lost the libs.